In this example of tips and tricks of SPSS charts, we're going to be looking at copying and pasting charts from SPSS output to Microsoft Office so that they appear and behave just as Microsoft Office native charts. And this is useful because a lot of people prefer the aesthetic properties of Microsoft Office charts, and they're generally more comfortable and familiar with editing them on that platform. Yet many users are unaware that this function actually exists within SPSS itself. So let's have a look at how that works. And back in SPSS, we've got a copy of employee data.sav open. This is a data set that we can use to illustrate a lot of our chart building examples. In this example, we're going to build a simple clustered bar chart by going to graphs, chart builder here, and choosing bar, of course, in the menu items here, clustered bar chart. I'm going to put a uh, uh, current salary along the x-axis and age group into the cluster variable here, click OK. And then assuming that this is going to end up in some sort of report uh, or presentation using Microsoft Office, we might as well copy it, not just as an image on itself, but copy it as a Microsoft Office graphics object. So we simply click, right click on it, say copy as, choose that option, then go to, in this case, we're going to go to PowerPoint and choose a, a slide here, right click on it, and we can say paste as as you can see, using destination theme or using keep source formatting or as a picture. Well, if we use using destination theme, you can see it's actually pasted as a Microsoft Office chart itself. And that means, of course, that we can we can go into the chart design options here, choose lots of different types of formatting that we wanted. Even change the chart type if we wanted So we choose it to a stacked chart. Click OK that point edit it change it alter it uh, uh, as if it was a native uh, chart that's been created within Microsoft Office itself